Hi, I'm Kim Ellis from Kim Ellis Embracing Souls, your clean living and wellness educator. And today we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics, and that is really staying true to your true values and making sure that you remain happy in our series one, episode two. So what I've discovered over the last several years um, on my own personal journey is it's really important uh, that we stay within our own value system. I think every single day I'm talking to people and they're really struggling with, um, I guess, their life and just feeling like they're, they're just existing, they're not living. So, you know, time and time again, I come across people and say to me, you know, I, I just don't know what I'm doing with my life, Kim, or I, I just, you know, I, I just feel as like I'm just participating, I'm not actually living my life. So one of the things that I've discovered over my time with doing a lot of personal development work on myself is that we really need to learn to, to I guess, really understand and ask the question of yourself, what makes me happy? And, you know, ask it over and over again until you can start to get some things that pop into your subconscious mind and jot them down. So, you know, what makes me happy? What truly makes me happy? Just keep asking that over and over again until you can come up with a with a with an answer. So, so whether it's things like obviously most people's family you know, is, is one of their highest values. But one of my other highest values is to be able to um, support and, um, and help other people. And I know um, as, as women and as or and men too, that, you know, it's really important that we feel like that we can contribute to other people. It's a really um, important value for me. Some of my other values are creating flexibility. It's really important to me to be able to have flexibility in my life, that I can be there um, to support my children, but also that I can design a life that, that I can take holidays when I choose, I can um, catch up with friends when I choose. It's um, it's about having that flexibility is one of my highest values as well. But it's also, as I said, it's also very important to me that I can contribute to other people. Um, and, um, you know, because, you know, I guess for, for all of us and more and more I'm coming across people that every single day, you know, the, the struggles are real. You know, those feelings of feeling anxious, those feelings of feeling like you're just existing, you're not living, are becoming more and more prevalent in our society. And I guess for me, that's how I felt, you know, probably, I don't know, let's say eight to 10 years ago, I just felt like I was only just existing. I didn't feel like I was living so, you know, I'm the only person in control of my happiness. You know, what I really did unpack was so much, so many times we rely on other people to make us happy. And your true happiness, right to your core, actually comes from your Self. We say it's an inside job. So many of us are, are searching for things externally to make us happy. When I buy that new pair of shoes, I'll be happy. When I go on that holiday, I'll be happy. When I get that new car, I'll be happy. When I do this, I'll be happy. You know, they're all external things. So we have to really learn to sit with ourself and what I what I under, you know, got to understand is when we're actually sitting in silence, 
with ourselves. And some of the things that I that I love to do is just take one of my favorite essential oils and take three big inhalations right down into my tummy, three drops on my hand, activate the energy in the oil and take those three big inhalations in and I use oils like Valor which is for courage and grounding. I use oils like transformation if I'm at a stage where I'm feeling stuck in my life that I feel like I need to be transformed and, and mix it up and change some things so transformation is another one of my, my most amazing blends that I love or things like um, awaken if I feel like that I'm that I'm kind of stuck in a place I'll use three drops of awaken and and really just sit with myself and find out what it is that makes me happy what is it why am I feeling lost why do I feel like I need to make some choices what is it that those things are within myself that I need to change because I am the only one that can change it you know, nobody else can change it. I'm the only one. I'm the only one that's in control of my happiness and I'm the only person that can change it. So, you know, if you're not happy, you need to change it. You need to put some steps into place to change some things. But you also have to, when you make those changes, is to bring it back in alignment with your value system. What is it that makes you happy? What's important to you? Ask the question, what's important to me? And keep asking that question and journaling until you can come up with some really great answers that sit in right with your value system and your soul because you are the only one that can make yourself happy. So, you know, they, they might be things, as I said before, to be able to contribute back to other people. And one of the things I ask myself every day is, Kim, how are you going to grow and how are you going to contribute? Every day, if you can ask yourself that question, how am I going to grow as a person and how am I going to contribute to others? Uh, what is it, you know, because I know if, if we're stuck in feeling in a place of self-pity and we're feeling in a place like we're stuck, I can guarantee you if you go and do something for somebody else or contribute to somebody else, it will certainly change your own energy, it will change your the way that you're feeling for the day and it will change your whole view around what's going on, what's happening in around you. It's really important that you understand um, that, you know, if you're having a, a day where you just don't want to get dressed, get out of bed, or you're feeling anxious or overwhelmed, get yourself dressed, get yourself out the door, go and connect with other people. Because I think one of the biggest problems in our society at the moment, that people feel lonely, or they feel alone. Every single day I'm talking to people and I've been through this myself, that you feel alone or you feel lonely. So, you know, there's many people out there in the same boat, many people want connection. And I think it's really important that, that if we all come together as community, I feel like community is missing in our society at the moment. I feel like people are trying to do things by themselves. They feel unsupported a lot of the time, so it's really important that we come together. And I guess that's one of the, the most important things for me in my business, Kim Ellis Embracing Souls, that I bring people together in community so that they, they can connect with one another, so that we can all connect in, so that we all feel supported. So that if something happens in our life that we feel like there's other people around there to support us. We've got somebody to pick up the phone. We've got somebody to have a chat to. We've got somebody to go through some things with because, you know, one of the, the, the biggest rates of, of death in Australia and around the world, other than cancer and all those things, is suicide. So, 
You know, people are feeling lonely. They feel like they don't have others to talk to. So, you know, let's come together as community. Let's bring each other together. But you can't, sometimes we don't feel like that we've got anything to contribute to one another. So if my suggestion for today is take a deep breath, take three deep breaths actually, really tap into your soul and work out what it is that makes you happy, that's gonna bring you into alignment because if we do the work on ourselves, well then we have something to give other people. You'll quite often hear the saying that we can't pour into others from an empty cup. So let's come together, let's do the work on ourselves first, and then let's come together and bring community together. And it doesn't matter what playground you're in, that we, you, that people feel like that they're part of some, something, that they feel like they're supported, that they feel like they belong to something bigger than themselves. And then together we can help contribute and help other people and um, share the love around. So hope these little tips have been helpful for you today. And um, I'm really you know, passionate about bringing people together. But of course, that starts with doing the work on myself first. And, um, you know, I'm the first person that if I'm not feeling in a good place, I'm the first person that does the work on myself first, because that's the most important thing and it's the only thing I have control on. So have a fantastic day and looking forward to chatting to you and um, sharing some of my wisdom with you in the future. Have a great day. Bye for now.